Okay, stream is live. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Today casting with Peter, aka Piraten Peter. P plus, warten wir noch. Now we wait for the other team and we can start the vote. All right. So we have uh, Team Exile, what is Team Blue? Both started the first game with a loss. So both are kind of in need to win this game. And yes, Golo, hello, hello. Peter is cockast. No, he's skipping this game. Yeah, we uh, from uh, Team Exile said that everyone should have the same chance to play a game. Not only uh, the same players every game. So I just said I can uh, make a break. Yeah, I think that's good. And we have on Team Exile, we have Leni, we have Schumut, uh, Dieter and Fusimo. And on Team Blue, we have CLU, Brigare. Uber and Pure later. And the last two maps is Seven Seas Highlands and Highlands as it is. And that is the uh, chosen by Team 2. So Team Blue wanted to play Highlands. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Peter, hey, so uh, my mm. chat on? Uh, nee. Colo calling you Ehrenpeter. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah. Ich geh da mal rein. Okay, uh, yeah, Highlands. I guess for Team 2, there are quite obvious bands like Maori and Ethiopia are crazy good on this map. That usually bans that team two has to do. Team one opening with Genghis ban. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, some people say Genghis is not so good on Highlands, but I still think it's. Mm, you don't I really want to play against Genghis. It's just so I annoying. I think uh, Genghis and the Ordu are. Yeah, it's one more movement, on that is true. No, 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 the, the housing, the auto, the cheap auto that gives you plus one, plus one housing. Ah, plus one. Um, oh. Might also factor in, yes. Okay, team two, banning China, all right. I'm not sure about that, because usually I would see as team two, the three bands you kind of have to do. Is like Maori, Ethiopia, and Basil. Is my feeling at least. Mm -hmm. And now they only have two bands left. But we will but see. But I think China is a, is a important band because yeah. China on Highlands with good simmers uh, can win the game. That is true. That is true. Okay, Team One with Kitia ban. It seems Team One only banning the very annoying. Uh, Uga Buga, uh, says. They are very uh, confident in their sim abilities. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's the Ethiopia mm -hmm. ban. Yeah, that's a must, must do. This is so good on this map. So maybe quick prediction. You think uh, Dita will play Ma Mapuche? <laughs> Mapu Mapu. Mm. 
Okay, team two, I uh, need team one uh, thinking a lot about the last ban. Canada, all right. Wow, and Peter last ban. So Maori is still open. I mean, some people say uh, Maori, yeah, nerf, blah, blah. But I mean, we made some scrims and on Highlands, Cooper is still so crazy. I mean, you start on land, you have to pop. It's, it's sick. Also, they uh, got Koopy through. It's yeah, yeah. very exciting for me to watch because uh, we never see Koopy on Highlands uh, normally in CBC games. Yeah. So I'm uh, very excited to see what uh, they will bring. And I mean, Koopy even has other good bonuses. Like, I mean, he has plus one amenity in his palace. So when someone else settles Lux, he can directly be like plus three and stuff. It's pretty big. Okay, we have counterpick Pericles. Okay, I guess uh, team two prepared this because they kind of went China first and, and Russia. It seems they are confident in their Pericles gaming. I mean, a, a freeze in Pericles, a good Pericles can be pretty big. I mean, some good examples is like... Uh, the noob <coughs> gameplay. Yeah, they just need uh, good gold makers yeah. with Pericles. Oh, and Umbric. Oh, they go mm. full simming. Okay, okay. Maybe. Well, Highlands, super strong. Super yes, strong. Players. Yes. Pericles and goal. So I guess uh, team one needs some kind of culture. What is there? We have Gorgo. 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 I think they pick Gorgo now. Uh, kind of maybe Sweden. Mm. But that's, Gorgo is, um, uh, uh, yeah, I guess Gorgo is the mm. more go to. Gorgo, maybe a good uh, pen, maybe a good um, divine spark, and then get all the what? Yeah, Whoa. Mali is also okay, great. Mali. They go for the money overkill with this Maori Mali. Yeah, that can be. I big. like this. I like this. I like this. This will be interesting. But now they have to ban Gorgo. Mm. Uh, two, team two, you mean? Yeah. Mm, yeah, they can't have Pericles in Gorgo. Yeah, I mean, if they now ban all the good uh, culture shifts, that can be hard for team one. If like team two farms all the mm. books and the culture. I think Maori has so much snowball on Highlands, you can pretty easily but go Ma Maori, a lot of theaters very early. But Maori can't get writers. It's his ability. He cannot get writers. Right, there was one thing, yeah. <laughs> Okay, now they really need a good culture. So. What else is culture? Maybe a Rome? Kind of can do this. But team two is first see, If you never see Maori playing, you you almost forgot. How that, crazy uh, that is. Uh, that he can't get writers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, Spain, Spain block kind of good because I mean team 2 needs some money making and Spain always good for that I mean what does team 2 want they want the money maker and maybe one war guy so I would kind of like Dido on team 2 or maybe Suleiman for money making mm -hmm. And yeah, team one definitely needs some culture, dude. So maybe we will see Sweden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out of my head, I don't even know what else is good for. Ah, the Eleanors are still up. Oh, I forgot. I mean, I mean, you can, can definitely go go they heavy culture with the Eleanor uh, girls. Hmm. Right, I think they forgot about the new meta. Uh, Could it be? They might even play it low, and then Team One picks double picks both Eleanors or something like this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, Creep ban, yeah, and Rome ban, okay. Okay, Cyrus Insta pick. Kolo fragt, why Kree was not picked in the first rotation? Yeah, I mean, uh, I definitely see also Kree like S tier on Highlands. But I think the, I mean, Coop is just busted. And team two, for me, it seems they are clearly prepared. They picked Highlands. They insta banned like China and, and Russia. I think they prepared some culture gaming. So they don't pick Cree. And then for team one, it's deciding between Cree and Mali. And I mean, Mali and Cooper together can be very, very crazy. Oh, no Mapuche uh, from, from Tita. But yeah, um, so we had the Cyrus yes, pick for team two, and for team one, um, what's it called? Vietnam and Sweden. So yeah, we were right with the Sweden culture thing. I actually think maybe. I really hope. I really yeah. hope. Uh, I think Fuzim will, will play Sweden because uh, I saw him playing Sweden uh, s sometimes. I hope he will get the writer control. Uh, Right against Pericles because mm -hmm. this is uh, really what uh, he should focus there. Okay, and wow, last pick Bullmoose. I guess they saw Lege in the game against Duhansa point, uh, 2.0, and I mean Lege, legendary uh, Bullmoose enjoyer, and he showed how crazy it is on Highlands free simming if you know what you do. Mm. So, but for me, it really seems Team 2 has a clear game plan before going into the game with like the all the heavy culture things. Yeah, might be interesting. Yeah, and Dieter writing, yeah, I have to entice you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because we thought he playing Mapuche, but he's going for Vietnam. Okay. Leni on Cooper. Yeah, that can be big. Leni made a really, really strong game in the first game. Oh, someone disconnected from Team Blue. Hmm. Um, Peter? Mm -hmm. I don't have a T plus from Team Blue yet. Ich weiß gar nicht, ob du überhaupt noch starten kannst, aber ja. I can. Okay, nee, dann warte noch, dass die T plus. Ne. All right, let's go. Peter? Mm -hmm. Did the A T plus? Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, that's the smartest oh, no. Yeah, that's what you uh 
Okay, dann uh, I go into Game Setup. Game Setup <lacht> und, und uh, mhm. weißt du, wie ja. es geht? Ja. Tournament Draft. Genau, Tournament Draft aus, raus. Islands. Ja, yeah, I mean, let's see. Highlands is sometimes it can be kind of uga booga, but most of the time it's more a sim festival. Hmm. Lenny has no sif selected and click ready. Lol lol. Lol lol. lol, lol. <laughs> <laughs> He's just playing random. Are you in rabbit? <clears throat> yes. I was just making some stuff on the stream. The All first right. thing I see is uh, Pericles Giant's Causeway. Wait, where's Pericles? Then we start together. I have to find him. Where is he? Where is he? Hmm. Ah, okay. Pericles. Yeah. So we start with Pericles. Oh yeah, Pericles, Chance Causeway. A lot of room for Pericles. The next dude would be America on the other side of 
causeway, but they are allies. Okay, then let's go to Bulmus. How's the appeal looking? Well, he has a lot of jungle, but jungle is choppable. At least he doesn't have so much floodplain gaming. But he will have no bonus right away. But he has a 3 2 banana. Yeah, I mean, he will have to work a bit with the chops of jungles and stuff to get nice appeal, but it's doable. And it seems he's also pretty free sim. The next in the line would be Mali. Okay, I'm not really a Mali player. Maybe Peter, you know more. Is that good? Is that bad? Mm. Where's Mali? Mali, Mali. There's a, there's uh, a, there. Left top over America. Uh, he has a copper. He has a silver. I mean, he, he has, has some desert. He has a. Later. He has a lot of of three production tiles around. Yeah, um, on Mali, I really like to go Religious Idols Pantheon because it's so much early tempo for your team when you have uh, 40 GPT in uh, 2021, 20, 22. Mm, but he only has two, two mines for it. Yeah. Uh, um, and I think... Is Desert Folklore only on Flatland or on every... No, on every, on every. I think this is a desert folklore spawn here oh. where he has this whole, um, this uh, three city setup or four city setup and another three city setup and then uh, he I set mean, for, for the late game. Yeah. Look at the crazy desert folklore holy site mm. of the, next to the wonder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. It's like six, eight plus ten holy site with double card mm. plus twenty. Okay. Mm, mm, <laughs> yeah. And someone around. I mean, America, kind of. And the next one on the left would be Persia, and Persia is also enemy. So oh, Mali um, is alone, doesn't have a trading partner of his team. He kind of has Zanzibar or Caruana to trade. But of course, that's not perfect. And he's kind of surrounded by Persia and America. And America. I mean, not for early war, but in a general game sense. So mm. that's not good positioning. By the way, we can go to the commentary cabin. I have to roll now. Okay. All right. Back to the game. Yeah, we had Persia. Also, 3 to Banana. Nice mountains. Can be big. Okay, below Persia, there's Cooper. Cooper, yeah, spawning on land and starting with a scout. Okay. I think that's not the right play. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's correct because now he will grow the same turn as the Settler Pops, so it's kind of nice. But I, I heard some players saying it's better to just start with the Settler for the really busted um, Snowball. Mm. But yeah, I mean, Cooper will have a few days. Because he has quite of a nice lake to just swim along. And um, just a reminder, he starts with uh, shipbuilding already. So he just can swim his settlers on the other side and everywhere. And he just can spam settlers. So he can I have think, like... I think you should always open with the settler because yeah. it's um, it's turbo religious settlements uh, basically yeah. and um, the time you have your settler in position to settle your second city uh, the guy has not already yeah. uh, 
sent a scout in your direction. So. Yeah. And I mean, the more pop you have, the more culture you have, you get earlier to early empire to get your uh, production bonus. Yes, governor. Uh, yeah. Ah, and, uh, when when, when does he get the production? Coupe. Early, uh, early, early Empire? Early Empire, yeah. yeah, yeah right. The changed coupe that he yeah. got, uh, gets his plus one production on Forest at Early Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, who's the next guy? He has a lot of freaking land left of Persia where no one is. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> and then we have Sweden, kind of to the left down. Uh, per Persia has the setup here for uh, Magnus uh, one million city setup. Mm. But I feel like every every Tiff has just so much room. So much room. It will a big uh, snooze fiesta. I mean um, Sweden normal pleb spawn, but I mean he's kind of close to the tundra. He can yeah, potential uh, make make like snow city tundra city. Grass, mm. plains. All the settles that Persia has um, are at the river, and he can just settle uh, to the to the west, every city, um, yes. and with the with the good good roads that Persia has mm. and Magnus internals, he yeah, can send also, the other settlers very fast over there. Also in the south, he has a river, and yeah, uh... yeah, yeah. And the last one we didn't see was Vietnam. He's on top of Sweden. Yeah, I mean, as we said, everyone is quite far away. I kind um, of hope everyone is just going Ancestral Hall. <laughs> and spam Settler. I just checked Sweden is kind of missing like a, a desert tile to settle on. That's a bit sad, but yeah. But... Uh... He has a very big swamp city next to Pamukkale. <laughs> uh, where's Pamukkale? Pamukkale. West of... Uh, ah, Peter, you must remote bolt mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, General, I would say... I mean, every event has a decent start, but... I mean, Mali is alone. They will know this. And I think when you play Mali, you want to have a yeah. trading partner because that's the sense of Mali and I think uh... oh they are playing okay okay I mean wow. I think maybe they they really like the Mali spawn itself because I mean he has a lot of one three tiles for production that's quite of nice maybe stuff. yeah but this and maybe also because of the wonder and he's uh, calculating yeah. all the holy sites <laughs> yeah Okay, that we play this game, we can look at the city states. We have two, nee, three purple, Namadoodle. We have Ayutthaya, very big, one of the biggest city states in town. Who will meet it? Maybe. Maybe Sweden with a scout. Or maybe. Maybe, maybe Maori. And scout. maybe Greece, yeah, or maybe no one finds it, we will see. <laughs> um, for the yellow ones, we have Zanzibar, very big. Oh, someone, Dita found the relic, okay, crazy. Turn 10, uh, who's Dita playing? Vietnam. I think he will go, uh, maybe God of the Sea here. Maybe, but I mean, you kind of like a war and plunder on, on Vietnam. Mm. But yeah, I mean, it would be a quite nice early tempo with the fishes. Mm. On the other hand, I what is he taking at the moment? No, he's going straight for, for his uh, encampment. I'm happy that he is able to build uh, the famous Vietnam encampment triangle here. Yes, that would be crazy big. 
Let's see if Dieter can pull it out. Okay, they made already war. Let's see, where is it warring? Do you see? Mm, I see a Mali warrior and a Persian scout as well as a Mali scout and an American warrior. Okay. But yeah, I mean, we see the normal people are just running with their first settler now, and Maori already settled the second city. Oh, and it seems he found the builder, or they bought the builder for, for Maori, because he improved already three stuff. Okay, we see the first settler of America is going right in the direction of Mali. I also think, no, Persia is not settling in the direction of Mali. So maybe we will see uh, aggression coming from America towards Mali. Mm. Yeah, we will see. Schumann is a pretty decent uh, war player when it comes to uh, defending. Yeah. And I mean, he has Not a, so much pushing, but defending. Yeah, and good. I think he has a good start with all the extra three tile productions on Mali. I think is pretty big. Mm -hmm. So the production for sure. Good spawn. Yeah, and he went desert folklore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Has his plus six uh, holy site already finished, making the profit points. Okay. <laughs> When we see the text of Team Blue, we have three people going in bronze working. All right. <laughs> nice, yeah. So I mean, uh, obviously, Gaul is going for why? it, but why the rest is. Yeah. I why mean, why is there not one going for bronze and boosting it for the others? Why are all going for bronze? I mean, I hope they will talk about it who is boosting it. Yeah. But I mean, Gaul is obviously he will go bronze, but I kind of don't understand in the free sim game so much bronze going yeah i mean on gaul i would always go for the opidum first um but for example on pericles i would uh, let's let's look at pericles i would maybe consider to uh, go commercials here commercials on highlands is just so strong when you build your acropolis into into commercials good okay they already have some smack talking do you know what happened mm -mm. Mm, oh okay. persia lost the settler rip ripus 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 this is big, this is big, and I see uh, Persia is building a warrior, and uh, not a warrior, um, a, builder. a builder. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, Mali can get, just get home with his settler. I mean, he can swim over the sea, whatever. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. The uh, warrior? But it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, yeah the fire. no Persian uh, military oh, units. And uh, actually, I see Leni on Maori is seven turns on horseback. Maybe he just settles there on the coast, goes one down right on the 2-2, two -two, settles. And it's just horse rushing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is big, yeah. Super big, because then Persia is out of the game. Yep. Oh, I said we missed that. But... I think this downright could uh, decide uh, the game, because I see Persia is going for immortal pre-builds. Immortal pre-builds are not working because the horses are there many turns before the immortals can can be upgraded yeah. and the only thing he, he could do there to defend this is mass archer spam mm. and he's not doing this he's i mean bronze working. i mean at bronze he at least can make spearmen uh but they are not communicating they're all going for bronze so yeah i mean he needs so bronze for, for spearmen i mean you know because he has a lot of hills before past the garden mm. when he like has every tile with spearmen he can hold but he has mm -hmm. kind of to commit. And now the, the thing that Leni has to do, Kupi has to do, is just close the line to the city, he settles there, and uh, he's fine. He's fine. Um, to be honest, he I also, also don't understand this builder for Persia to make a 1-3 mine. Yeah. yeah. 
I, I, I think uh, this is uh, it's a bit weird. Not very efficient <laughs> <laughs> when you have enough tattoos to work. And why are you building a builder? To be honest, when I see three turns on bronze working, five and four, they are not communicating who is boosting. Yes. It. Oof. I mean, ho hopefully next turn someone will switch, but... And they are not uh, distributing gold for tiles also. Like, when you look at Pericles, you see a 27 turns monument where he can buy a 2-2. Okay, I mean, but... Why would you work 3 foot and 2 culture? Yeah, you want to get to your uh, Acropolis faster, but then why are you building a monument? Mm. But Leni, Leni, is, Leni is chickening out, he is not forward settling. Mm, okay. Yeah, Paul, he is not on... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul is uh, telling us that he is not going for military tradition, but for horseback riding, that's a bit of a... Yeah. But still, I mean, even if he doesn't horse rush, I mean, he has such a big swing now. One more settler just for free. Persia is building a settler. Comes out in uh, six turns. Ooh, and there's a sneaky other Shumut warrior on the other side if he's might be sending mm. it naked to the right. Moin Trinder. Did he win? Yeah, of course they won. Of course they won. Yeah, I guess so. They had uh, Turbo Turbo Spain with good choke control. They had uh, free some Ottomans with, with all the gold. They had uh, Super Trinder with uh, Gorgo like always. Strong defense. They won. Yeah, and quick recap for Trinder. Um, Leni was able to snap a settler from uh, Persia and Leni is on Maori and with the settler he will be on four cities already okay. he's building one more next turn he has early, early empire he can spam like settlers in every city more mm -hmm. and it is sad to see that he blew three people on bronze working no communication for the boost Oof. Mm -hmm. that is not efficient and uh also, I have Persia. to say the Persian builder to I make one mine, to chop one, and no, sorry. You have two twos, you have two threes. You don't need to use the builder for the horse, for the iron. Mm -hmm. I mean, a chop early is so inefficient. It gives you like nothing. That just wasted production on your builder. But, uh, I mean, Pericles next to Giant Corswell. But he doesn't have an enemy. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter. It yeah, doesn't he doesn't matter. have an enemy. Uh, has no impact. On this and game. I just saw that Fusimo is trying the three three opener, I guess, on Sweden. Hmm. Okay. Where's uh, the the stone Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We will see. But I. Ah, I think that's not really possible with a when you don't have your fresh water for your th third city. Dita has built the first galley in the world. <laughs> ah, the Venetian galley. Okay, we see. And we have the first encampment on Gaul. Wait, what? Where's Goal? What? Sorry, sorry, bro. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> what? What? What are we seeing here? It's I don't understand. We see a builder. We see an encampment on Goal where where, where an opidum. And I mean, there's no player around Goal. The next one is Vietnam, and he's like. 15 tiles away with highland tiles, so uh, there will be no war. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, that's a weird decision. I can I can hear Michael in my ear saying, "Really, bro? Really, bro? <laughs> You're building an encampment with no neighbors? <laughs> really, bro?" <laughs> okay, Persia sending a settler to the right, but this time it's protected, so not another snatch. <clears throat> Shumut has protection for his holy sites. Okay, he's prepared. Both holy sites protected. Persia is escorting a settler with a warrior, building a slinger. Prepared. Hmm, that's a bit overreacting. I mean, Leni is now going for military tradition. I don't know if you really need to horse rush now. I think it would have made sense when he just settled in his face. But do you see the production from Leni? He can just went to a ship building, he can just send them over the water and... Yeah, I mean it's crazy, he has like triple of... or <laughs> double triple of the others. I mean he I has... everyone here would send some horses yeah. and archers. I mean he so has good. four cities, the fifth is settling like I next mean, turn. I mean, he could, he could basically just uh, do this one city um, built horses and archers to erail the whole Persian Empire, and the other cities from Kupe were just uh, sim. Yeah. And now, people tell me please that Maori is bad because of the birth. You can't tell me. Even if he doesn't steal the settler, I mean. Two, three everywhere. Yeah. I mean, if you have one, two, three deer, you say God spawn, and he has one, two, three, then one, four, and the fish gives him four, one. Kupe is so strong. Yeah, Boris uh, exiles heavy favor. I mean, before the game, I would say maybe 70%, 75% for exile. But now, of course, I mean, uh, Maori snatched a settler from Persia. That's already a big blow. Mali is blocking the second uh, settler of Persia. Also, Team Blue, I mean, it's not really playing efficiently. There were three guys going bronze working together. No one said the other, I will boost you. So we will see. I mean, I thought Team Blue has a good game plan going in. Because they banned like China and Peter and then directly picked Pericles, Gao and uh, Bulmus. And they themselves picked Highlands. So I thought, yeah, maybe they planned something, they prepared something. But then, I mean, doing Gao and going encampment first, when you don't have any neighbor around, I, I don't understand. And we have Pericles going for Oracle, okay, I also... Oof. I mean using... I usually one says you don't really need Oracle for Pericles or Gorgo. I could understand it, of course, you maybe don't want to give it to them, but I mean you have Gaul who can just go Oracle. Mm. And using, like Oracle and, and, and using Oracle for drama boost is not good because Oracle is like crazy expensive. It's the most mm. expensive of the classicals. Or it's not. Or very. Uh, I mean, it's like. Two or uh, three settlers. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to boost your drama, just make. More Acropolis. Um, uh, hang, hanging Storage. Guns, Great Bath, or, or uh, Stonehenge that are the three best because they are the cheapest ones. You get in time with your drama and then you can nicely boost it. I mean, also, if you go on Stonehenge against Sweden, you basically deny the China religion uh, for Sweden, which is super, super impactful. Yeah, and Sweden has Stonehenge next turn. Turn 25, yeah. that's pretty nice. And I will see here, I mean, to be fair, uh, Sweden has a pretty nice spawn with the second expand with three two bananas with one for deer with another three two bananas. So he was able 
to to go a fast Stonehenge. Now turn 25 in expansion. It's nice. Ah, and Boris is also pointing out that Greece is putting Moksha in his potential <laughs> Oracle City. Ooh. The mistakes. The mistakes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mali. Oh, Mali is getting reefed. Okay. Ah, oh, no, the, the one where Persia is sitting on is not finished yet, the holy side. So Shumut has everything under control. He's projecting for religion. Ah, America is also going religion. Okay. And America has it this turn. Okay. Also, America Bumus didn't have, I mean, doesn't have his bonus in cap or in the first expand. In the second expand, he has a bit of culture. But yeah, that's, I mean, the unlucky jungle spawning. Okay. Very lobby is up. Okay, just a quick explanation what happened here. Um, sometimes happens. You can uh, yeah, make your religion the same time as other guys. And when ex by accident you make the na same name of the religion. So here two people made Catholicism the same time. Then both t people get uh, both bonuses from the other guys. So uh, you get your own bonuses you picked, but you also get the bonus of the other guy who also picked Catalysism and his bonuses. So that's why then the game is broken. Basically, uh, the game uh, is stupid. Yes. Uh, not properly uh, programmed for multiplayer, because uh, when you're in the screen where you select your religion, and the other guy is in the screen where you select your religion, and uh, someone, for example, chooses Catholicism, with uh, the beliefs, the game is not uh, um, how you say upgrading. No, what you say in English? Actualisieren, refreshing. It's not refreshing. So uh, you can choose the same stuff the other guy uh, chose, and then the game uh, behaves just like Rabbit said. Uh, that you also get the bonuses from the other guy, and uh, the game is breaking. Yeah, I mean you can get like. Uh... can get coral and uh, feed the world at the same time, yeah. for example. It's... Which is uh, super OP and super broken. Is CLU drin? Mm, no. Okay. I mean America, right? Yep.
I mean, it happens sometimes with the religion because, I mean, now it was opposing teams and you want to pick your beliefs very quickly. Because um, when once you've finished your picks and lock it in, the enemy can't pick it anymore. More. But when you do it at the same time, you still can pick it. So often you, when two people have profits at the same time, you want to pick it really quickly and deny the enemy. But then, of course, mm -hmm. sometimes it happens that people pick the same name and this shit happens. Can't really prevent it. No. So right now what they are doing um, when uh, America is joining the lobby, they are discussing uh, when they pick the religion and uh, what beliefs. So they have to discuss it. Doesn't happen again. Sorry, they're not discussing uh, what beliefs they pick. They're just discussing what uh, name. No, I mean they are supposed to pick the same as last time. Yeah. And right. I hope they don't like f trying by, to do fir first pick. Yeah, yeah. Different religion names. Uh, they don't get the bonus from the other one. Yep. I mean, I don't even know who was it. Um, America and Mali, maybe, or Sweden. I ah Sweden, I guess it was. Yeah, yeah, but Fusimo already writing to Clue that they check. That they have to talk about it. Yeah, I mean, that's actually allowed. Um, so in the same team, you are not allowed to take the same beliefs. So you are not allowed to take two times feed the world. But it is allowed if an enemy and your own have the same beliefs. That is allowed. But ov obviously, it's never allowed to have the same religion name. For, for nothing, it's allowed. Now <laughs> Shumu disconnected. Yeah, yeah zero oh, mess, no. I guess. Yeah, but luckily I saw it right away. Because, I mean, now they can just relobby. Because I remember my very first CBC qualifier. I made the same by accident with Shumut. And we just discovered it like 10 turns later. And then we had to replay the complete game because I mean you can't relobby ten turns back. That's stupid. From the first stirrings of life in Griffith. Let's just pray there are no Phyrexus craft shittery going on. But okay. I'm already in, and I'm seeing your stream. Okay. Feels good to have a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you see my stream, yeah? Yeah. I'm you see the one, the so you could have picked a nice title of the tournament, then it would show up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time. Next time. Next time. <laughs> Yeah. 
I know I have to write something in your chat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone loaded in. No crashes. Nice. That's what we want to see. Okay, so what happens? Um, Fuzimo got Stonehenge, and uh, America got his profit. So that's why they have on the same turn. And now they are clearly communicating about it. I mean, it's good. It's uh, Okay, we have Sweden with feet and lay ministry. I hope they get it right now. Yeah, yeah, so I hope Fuzimo was really not fast well. too fast. Yeah, let's see. I mean, I didn't. Oh, no. Uh, I can't even write fast enough. They just have to be in the same found screen, and from yes. there they can take their time. Yeah, ja, yeah, ja, wir schreiben es nochmal in, in the lobby nachher. They didn't understand. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do it. Why does Fuzimo even want feet? Uh, good question. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe we, we look at Fuzimo built uh, yeah. more than one holy mm -hmm. site, and. I mean, we can look at the spawn again and discuss if it makes sense or not. I think he just wants to go holy site, uh, three holy site, three theater squares. I mean, Feed the World is kind of nice to get a lot of districts. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's he going the... lay ministry anyway for culture, so he doesn't really need uh, maybe feed uh, the, the choral music. You can go. You can go discount mechanic with a triple holy site into theater square and with lay ministry. It's uh, really hitting hard. Also, a way to play. Peter, must the lobby? Yeah, yeah. Lobby up. Ah, oh, yeah, that's also okay. Fuzimo just says they go in the same voice chat and talk it over. Or oh, they do it this way, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
I mean, it's still okay. They are all friendly players and no one is going crazy. Everything smooth. All right. Okay. Boris is asking why feed the world on America when he goes preserves here's food. I don't know, Boris. We can also check again uh, America spawn. Mm. But Maybe I'm personally he wants food overflow with the housing yeah. to build more districts. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm I never really played Bulmo, so I don't know how we should Me play. Me neither. Me neither. Play I never that. play him. I don't know what what the basic what what do you pick on on Bulmo's Boris? What is uh, the standard belief? Pick on him. Yeah, but Peter, stable host, no Phyrexa crashes. Um, I think he goes feed the world because the spawn is not uh, made for uh, preserves. I mean, the only city that could have built a preserve is Boston um, on the 1-3. But uh, the other two cities can't really build the uh, working preserves. Maybe, maybe, maybe New Orleans on the 2-1. But he has so much rainforest he has to chop. Mm, I think he... I'm not sure, but I guess it makes only sense the time he can make his own woods. Because now it's... Even if he chops the jungle... You know what I would have done in this position? I would have gone for Magnus Internals uh, with a big uh, medieval push on uh, Mali. Mm. Yeah, no bonus to gaming. Yeah, I guess it's okay. It's okay. You just go uh, five or six cities, Magnus and Tunnel, and uh, prepare a big push. Okay, and let's Sweden. Why did you pick Sweden? Feed. Yeah, I think Sweden. Maybe thinking he doesn't have a lot of fresh water. Here a bit, here a bit. And then maybe <coughs> he's doing like Persia of fresh settled. water. Unfresh? What the fuck? Look at Persia. Look at Persia. What is the second city? Hmm. Maybe because he was a bit bullied by Mali warrior, but that's not possible. With... No, 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 no. Maybe he just wanted to be ne directly next to the deer, but that's still weird. I don't know. Eh? Why not settle on the maze by the tutu? Yeah. By the tutu, you also will have the horse. I think uh, in this game we see some new techniques mm. being revealed. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, if it had been Inca, if Persia had been Inca, uh, maybe 
he could have settled there, built a terrorist farm, got the housing. Okay, but Persia. Okay, we check again religion. So America to feed the world and defender. Defender? Hmm? When he's the aggressor? What? Ah, maybe he wants... No, I guess he wants, he wants to, to deny. Uh, he wants to deny on Mali, I guess. Mm. He Definitely. wants to deny it, yeah. Yeah, this makes sense. Okay, and Maori is already starting to make horsey men. I mean, they will take a bit. I mean, he can quite fast swim through water. Four turns, uh, four tiles a turn. Yeah, it's decently fast enough, I guess. He swims to the one tile shop, then goes on the lake again. And then comes out of the lake. Well, yeah, maybe. Okay, um, Pericles stopped mission Oracle. I guess he will do after the settler and just doing drama hard taking without the boost. Okay. I mean, you can do that without the boost. But then I don't know why you are rushing the... Oh, the, 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 the wonder the... settle was such a bait. Um, yeah. Such a bait. He has six culture, drama so late. Yeah. No temple. I mean, why you go mysticism, rush, when you don't even build it? Why not go directly drama poetry? Go Acropolis, yeah. then you have so much you... culture, then you can one turn mysticism. So you and wasted. And you also oh, make no, no, your no. Acropolis with mysticism uh, more expensive because you yeah. have another district uh, re researched. I mean, for the worst, first one, it doesn't matter, but still. Yeah, but he also has bronze, no? Yeah, yeah, yes. I, I, he will get no discount at all. <laughs> yeah, he went the, the worst way uh, for building districts that you can go. Bronze and mysticism. Yes, okay, no. how is the Opidium game going? No Opidium gaming? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it feels a bit weird. As I said, it really felt like they have a plan, but it mm. seems they are picking Ziffs. They are not, I mean, maybe they are not familiar with them or whatever, but I mean, why picking playing goal when you play no opidiums? Why didn't they buy a, a trader for Persia? Why does Persia has have to uh, build everything himself. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Why is he going for uh, for an immortal push here? I don't think it's you... a push. I think it's more defending, but still, yes. I mean, then why are you why why are you front settling? I really think that he tries to uh, go for mortals here and just uh, push Mali when he will have knights. Oh, and I just see a... Ah, where's the horse going from? Ah, oh, Woody. It's going down. Hmm. Huh? Kupi is chopping a lot of horses. No, I think they, they kill Akkad. Ah, he wants to go far. No. Mm. See the other horse at his cap, it's going down right. Yeah, this one horse is just to protect his settler, but okay. I think he wants to kill Akkad. Yeah. But this is a bit weird. Just going. Yeah, going, I guess he uh, wants to kill Akkad. Yeah. Yeah. He's trading with Vatican City there. Yeah. Solid. Okay, Mali got his religion. He went Choral and Pilgrimage. I mean, it's also kind of nice when you're third religion and you can still kill Choral. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Coral would have been uh, way better. 
belief for America. Yeah. And it also seems like America is only doing one holy site. Why, pick, why picking like a shrine belief at all? I mean, when you do it like um, this, you can just go Jesuit or something like this. And the boy with face, you are like... Uh, also, Washington has so many chops. So many chops. Why don't you go Magnus and chop everything? Because he's not going no governor at all. Going no governor, yeah. Turn 28, no governor. What's going on here? Ah, he doesn't have... <laughs> he has early empire and two? No. Hä? I don't understand. But he has six culture. How, huh? How can't he have a, a governor yet? Rabbit. This is, uh, this is the AI. Which is uh, playing. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah. It has to be AI. <laughs> mm. Okay, what is uh, Vietnam doing? Oh, a lovely triple encampment. Triangle, nice. But what is this government plaza? Why not next to the encampments? Dieter, why? <laughs> the encampment... It yeah. has to be next to the government plus on Vietnam. I also and, think so. Uh, I mean, he wants to do like a uh, double campus or double commercial, I guess, there, but. Um, but then you I mean, just to... just use the adjacency before you get four more culture. And yeah. Uh, I think the government, oh, the government adjacency. Totally government oh. adjacency for, for Vietnam is not so important. Just put it next to Tar. So you get the tie yeah. adjacency and then whatever. I mean it's it's eight culture. He oh. loses eight culture. No, four. It's two per tie. Mm, yeah, but they get uh, from each other and from the government double. No, no, no. I don't think it works like this. No? But they get two from, from the encampment and two from yeah, the government. Yeah, no, they get like... No, but at the moment they are three anyway, so get they get... No, but you don't get like plus half adjacency for, for your encampment. They just get flat plus two culture for every next to it. So they're not, they're not getting an extra 0.5. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. But still it would be four oh, culture more. Four so, culture. Yeah. Yeah, but still, I mean, this is the dream you want for Vietnam, that you have a nice three city opening where you can uh, do your three stuff together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he said it's also true. I mean, he, he has time. Then, of course, this makes more sense. You can make like double uh, commercial or double uh, um, yeah, blue, uh, blue thingy or whatever he wants. Or even, I guess, with a Hanging guns, he will do a purple one here, but yeah, I mean, I guess with the spawn you can do whatever you want. Let's see what are the Maori horses doing. But Lenny only choose to send two horses to Akkad. And Akkad is building an archer. This and it's a military one, and yeah, I mean, maybe there's one, f two farms, it can be doable. But he has to siege then. No? He can siege, actually, on the on the marsh and on the 2-2 two -two on the other side, it's possible to siege. But, I mean, he's not in war yet, I think. Yeah, he's not in war yet, he's waiting for the second. And... I mean, yeah, he can with like f three or four hits, he can kill it. So when he, he, we will just see where the warriors are in like two turns. Okay, America has uh, the second horse next turn. Uh, Archer, two warriors. Yeah, and he, uh, uh, he's, he's projecting. Doing encampment, yeah, he's doing projecting for a general. 
Let's see what Mali will do. He only has uh, three arches. And Mali... But he has... He has 31 fave per turn, so every two turns he can fave by a builder. Oh, okay. I think he will lose his archer there. Yeah, and Mali doesn't have currency yet. Okay, what I kind of don't like, that they haven't bought a trader yet for Mali. Yeah, there's something that uh, Shumut likes to do is uh, not um, taking uh, actively taking gold from the team. Mm, yeah, yeah, he's a bit shy there. But I mean, yes. we kind of see the income is not... Ah, it's okay if Ma uh, Maori makes some money. Mm. But I meet Mali's a detail. Mali's minus one GPT. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they should definitely buy a trader for him to boost currency for him. Because, I mean, you don't want to build Mali the trader. lost his uh, archer, like I said. Uh-oh. Yeah. Ah, no, no, he, is, uh, he has horse tech already. You see in Na Inyani. Mm. But look at the production. Even for Mali, he can two turn a horseman. Okay. Mm. Five, uh, five pop city, one, three everywhere. Two, yeah. three. All right, all right. I mean, next turn, the horse can slam one time without a classical. I oh, know, I, I mean, it depends if Schumut Insta chops the horse. Yeah, he's fine here. He's fine here. Uh, does Bulmus has extra attack defense? Well, no, that's just Rough Rider, right? But uh, every, every unit you can keep alive uh, potentially makes your sim so much stronger. Because uh, now that he lost his archer, he lost the position there where the house now is, and he has mm. to build so many more units now where he could have built uh, a Zuguba or something else. Mm. True, true. I mean, it's good yeah. pressure. Free chariot for Gaul. Yeah, but America a bit sleepy. He could have nicely hit. But is it still on 12 defense or is it a visual bug? Uh, this is strange. Hold yeah, I think out. it's just a visual thing. Mm. Yeah. Ah, but, but see, he can chop yeah, another. Yeah, it's on 28. Yeah, yeah. Now and... it's on 28. Okay. So he chose to chop an archer and not the horseman, all right? Yeah, this is this is an interesting mechanic of Sif where um, the change gets only applied when uh, you, for example, um, switch to focus production in a city or mm. you uh, um, change the value of a tile where you improve it or uh, unimprove it. I actually see why Shumut is not building another horse because they have don't have in the team. Hmm. I guess um, Ori used up all the horses. Uh, Ori can attack Akat next turn. Well, Akat has 24 strength. It's Ori. okay if, if Akat doesn't step on the 2-2 two -two where the builder is. When he gets that tile and the marsh, he can siege and hit two times and next turn hit two times again and it's dead. But maybe the archer goes on the 2-2 two -two and the warrior on the 1-3 and then he's blocked with his... <laughs> Lower mm. horse? We will see. America lost the horse there. What? what? Oh, this happened. Yeah, now, uh, but Shumu doesn't have first moves. Maybe okay. better. He should maybe uh, buy a better piece, uh, CPU. No? Could have killed that horse. Okay, but our card is gone, yeah? Okay. And the free builder. Easy peasy. Ooh, and this. Third city of Persia is also not really sexy, to be honest. Only to one tiles or to zero tiles. There I would rather make a city on the left side of your um, capital. I mean, there's a 3-3 three, three tile. You can settle on 2-2. Two, two. 
that looks way more sexy than <laughs> this tiles. And it's on on uh, sw uh, flat plane. Okay, how is the Mali front? Yeah, America running away. Uh, but he has, gen he has a secured. He has a Generalus, Mr. America. It's not making a difference. Yeah. Mali has uh, five archers, six soon, and can't break that with uh, so less units. I mean, only plus five. If you look the yield tabs, Mali has the same production as um, Pericles, and he's Mali. That's uh, the bait city. <laughs> Knossos. Yeah. So I think it's only working uh, the 312, the 112, and the 221. And yeah, our card was taken by Lini. Ooh. <laughs> Persia. Don't build a 16 turn immortal. Turns immortal, right? <laughs> Give your iron away and build a warrior. Yeah, I but hope they you... don't have the gold and they don't have. Uh... Yeah. I mean, at least they have a lot of iron in the team. But they don't have gold, yeah. America is minus six per turn. Yeah, and Maori. I guess he will just see what he does with his three horses. And now he's just in sim mode. I think that's that's okay. He can just go UU or whatever and kill then <clears throat> Mo uh, Persia. Where's uh, the encampment from Maori? Nowhere. So he's running the cart. Yes, okay. uh, but he took it out. Yeah, but. Yeah. I mean, maybe he's now seven pop in cap. Maybe there. Oh no, Shumut, what are you doing? You uh, defended one horse and now you switch uh, to Sim again. When uh, America is going uh, all, all one now. Yeah, he has confidence, you know. <laughs> Maybe too confident. Maybe uh, build uh, one or two horses and then be confident. Yeah, I think they didn't have, right? Let's see. Because now he lost another archer. Mm hmm. And now he will lose another archer. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. I think come they did, don't have enough horses because now they have 12 again. Ooh, so only Maori has horses up. Do I see that correctly? And only one horse. <laughs> I mean, Maori will next turn improve another horse. But does Vietnam have horses? No. Sweden has, mm, has horses. He has the third ring Stockholm. Why okay. Don't you go horses. Like... Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, they all went like theater spamming. Vietnam and uh, Sweden. I mean, let's compare Sweden with Greece. Sweden on four point six points already. Vietnam, and Greece uh, with one. Tries to go uh, the smallest Colosseum uh, in the history. Sif. I mean, we can look at the on the pantheons. So, Sweden took Divine Spark. America, ah, America has initiation, initiation rights. Okay, we have Desert Des Pantheon. Deslog on Mali. We have War and Plunder on Persia. We have God of Sea on Maori. And Gaulus doesn't have a pantheon. Yeah. But the opidiums are coming at least now. Kupe, Kupe needs to uh, go on his tours and rush Maori, uh, rush um, Persia. Hmm? I mean, he's doing encampment now, Maori. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then, but Kupe with twenty-four signs, forty-three culture, he just needs to go on his tours and just yeah. uh, bring them, yeah. destroy Persia here. Okay, I guess the deciding factor will be Mali versus America. And then yeah. let's focus here. Because America now has a general 
in battle. Shumut is doing an encampment. Okay, that's good, I guess. Even though with 65 faith a turn, I guess you could also run like the general cards like five turns and then buy a general. I don't know. Uh, but as I said, I'm not used to play Mali, so I don't know what the correct play is here. Uh, Shumut is sleeping here. Promote that horse. Can be promoted. Maybe he's baiting a tech, and <laughs> but it's <laughs> dangerous. Yeah. That's very dangerous here, yeah. I mean, the horses of America don't have movement, but um, or enough movement. But it seemed like America has first moves, so... Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, Lini has an encampment in uh, Kauya. Yeah, yeah. Let's see generals. Who's getting general? So Maori wants one. Um, Persia is projecting. Ah, so I may maybe if America projects also, in Persia, uh, Persia is projecting, then only Maori or Mali can get one. So they have to decide. I guess that would be actually a play. But um, when you go to USA, I see a potential big griefer scout from Lenny. Getting some nice mine pillage or something. Mm. No one going for traders. The good trader is up, but no one going. Oh, Persia with a preemptively walls, okay. Okay, switch pick to Mali. Looks like uh, Sweden will get the first writer, yeah, and the second one. Mm -hmm. Okay, but Mali just uh, upgraded to Swordman. Yeah, I guess he realized um, they are the team. Uh, the team are no horse providers, so <laughs> he's <laughs> going spearman and swordman. But yeah, I mean, America is on three cities, and Mali. I mean, he's monumentality, and we'll just sim in the back line with monumentality, so we can check that. Um, Pen brush on Gaul, pen brush on Gorgo. Normal oh, age. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, Gaul stole a settler from Vietnam. Ouch. Oh, okay. Payback time, I guess. Ah, good spot. Air spotting. It's the four city uh, Colosseum then. Hmm. Vietnam with the Colosseum, with a nice uh, Colosseum by the seaside. That's always one you want to see. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. In Vietnam you want to go uh, many cities, many tons. Yeah. Uh, 60 culture turn uh, 32, 33. Yeah. This. Vietnam chopping the good campus tiles. Yeah. I mean it's also a nice theater or here 
But I guess Vietnam is expecting with the Colosseum he will have culture and then going... What is it? What does he need? F to make uh, medieval fairs to, to make woods again. I don't know. Yeah, Lenny big boy. Lenny I mean, is carry all the time, yeah. He's, I uh, mean, the first thing, I don't know why you let Cooper open on Highlands. <laughs> then he stole a settler from Persia that he could go home. He killed a cut. So Lenny, big boy. He's even going double encampment. Okay. Lenny is going uh, for the Tauros. Yeah, I with guess the so. Crossbows, with the crossbows. Put the Tauros in front and let the crossbows do the job with uh, plus five. Okay, we just see Mali made the project. Maori. I mean, if Persia and America both do projects, they could deny Maori a, a, a general, at least the first ones. Mm. But I guess on the other hand, Ma Maori has so much production, he Maori could just... Maori uh, three turns till engineering, he's yeah. going for the, for the crossbows. He's going for the crossbows. Nice. Okay. Or a crossbow push, like samurai crossbow push. All right. Nice. So, but yeah, goal, getting an extra settler. Kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. I would imagine he would have built uh, an opium in his capital. Yeah, I mean, look at the encampment that is not even finished. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> maybe, or maybe, maybe he, he misclicked. Maybe, yeah, he, maybe misclicked. He, he thought it is a op opidium. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he misclicked. Yeah. Artemis next turn also very big mm -hmm. because uh, he's losing a pop in four turns, but not with Artemis. <laughs> More mines to work. Okay, and Sweden with the first writer. Yeah. And Gorgo with a lovely Moksha Oracle City. That's what you want to see. Mm, mm. What I would like to see here now is a Sweden projecting because uh, yeah. when you get all the cheap 30, he has two amphitheaters, he has two amphitheaters, so he has seven slots with his uh, capital. Mm. I would just put a project in there, get the next writer, and, and then Pericles gets the third and Sweden gets the fourth. So yeah. Sweden have three writers, Pericles only one. Yeah, I mean, I would expect it. I guess he just finishes the temple for the nice boost and, and, and getting Feed yeah. the World bonus. And then uh, yeah. that's what I would do in his case. Yeah. And then chop uh, projects is, or whatever. He has such a good chop there with the 1-4. Yeah, yeah. Your chop is so much. Mm. Okay. Um, Vietnam is going com uh, campus. So we still have zero commercial gaming. Yeah. Oh yeah. no, on Highlands, what are you doing? Yeah, and the first one is the good trade merchant. That's yeah, no trade trades are so important. Okay, back to the Mali-American war. Okay, I guess Mali with the swordman's... Such a nice war. I, I really like this war. And Mali, I think, has a general Next turn, yeah, Persia and Mali both get. I think that is number... Yeah, America can't yeah, yeah. really do anything here. The swordsmen just farming for the plus 10 promo here. Ah, and, but, they, uh, but they denied uh, Maori uh, general. That is kind of a nice play from Team Blue. But it doesn't matter because crossbows and tours uh, work with the next one. Yeah, that ain't, no, it's just for the, for the production uh, you have to put in. Tour in Akkad, by the way. I it's mean, chopping. it's like uh, 75 points you need for the next one, I think, or 60. Mm. But I mean, Maori has so much production, he can also yeah. just whatever. Tours are coming. Um, tours are coming. And projects are coming. Um, I mean, maybe he time. could have delayed it. To bit and just upgrade them but I don't know how are the income mm. yeah around 
80, 90? 60, 80 gold per turn for Team Exile, and uh, minus 7, so only 20 gold per turn for Team Blue. Hmm. But why did he go machinery? Crossbows. Yeah, but he doesn't have archers hmm? or crossbows or whatever. Uh, catapults. Uh, or catapults, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, yeah we will see. Lenny yeah. will show us. Apultus. Okay, America with another forward settle towards Mali. And Government Plaza in Pingala City. Oh no. Where? Where? Uh, in Boston. I mean, maybe he thinks Pingal and Tunnels, but it's way too late for that, and he only has one trade route, so it doesn't make sense. You want your government plaza as soon as possible mm. for the for the government government time. I think it's just um, he government wanted the nice campus in in his capital, and then he just didn't have a slot for uh, for Gov Plaza, I guess. Uh, I think so. But then uh, he has one slot left. And now his dis districts are becoming more expensive by the turn. Mm. No, no. Well, we will see. Imagine, oh, imagine they would have gone commercial opener. Got the good uh, yeah. merchants, have gold in the team for upgrades. I mean, now... It's... Mali can just farm, yeah. I mean, it's so nice when you can deny Mali the, the trade route merchants. Mali now just has to build more more mines, uh, go for apprenticeship, keep the wall up and uh, carry carry the the push mm -hmm. from Kupe. Oh, by the way, um, Persia got normal age. Yeah, Persia, no tempo. First settler gone. Yeah, that could could uh, hit quite hard. So let's see how's the tour doing against the mortal. Oh, I can't see. Yeah, I guess America is just chilling there at the moment. I mean, it's a nice wall of swordsmen. Oh, and Mali is getting pillaged by a sandstorm. Okay, Greece spamming his amphitheaters. Got his first writer. And do we see Sweden projecting? Yes, we see. Nice. Nice. So he got the memo. <laughs> ah, yeah, and now uh, Greece is actually putting Pingala into his capital. I mean, Greece, I think, just did his uh, Gav Plaza now to have the title, I guess. But also, it's again like uh, Gav Plaza and Pingala. Yeah, but sometimes it it happens sometimes. Or is it from Mikene? Ah, no, it's from Mikene. So, my, my, my bad. My bad. Sorry. Sweden is on 53 faith per turn with lay ministry and uh, how many? Three holy sites and two temples, three shrines. Building Mahabodhi. Yeah, that's pretty nice. And I mean he's on 56 culture with um, monumentality. 
versus 43 culture pen brush grease. Yeah. And he's more mentality, so uh Yeah. He has way more culture than that. And he got the, the next writer. Yeah, now it's just uh, he needs he needs more cities now. When when the audience is uh, finished, he has to chop some settlers mm -hmm. here. Or he has a far walking settler on the right side. Ah, that's for yeah, traders for with the, for the naval trades. Right. Yeah, this is the right uh, yeah. right strategy here. For the naval let trades. Walk, uh, the let him walk seven eight turns, but then uh, he has so much value because um, these trade routes that could be sent to Sweden now give Sweden. Uh, Science, culture, everything, and uh, the other way around could be also. Yeah, and a lot and of money. Don't have to trade with Vatican City anymore. A lot of money for the team. And he can. Uh, and Sweden can kill it, yeah. And they can kill Vatican City for Sweden because Sweden don't uh, have a city state kill yet. Very big. Uh, let me see. Where we're... Yes, that's true. Yeah, they, they kill Vatican City for Sweden. Then he has six cities, so it's big. Okay, let's see if he is the store push. Oh, I mean, they're not. Okay, that's not with a minus five. Yeah, we will see. How serious Lenny is or not. I mean, he just projected out uh, Generalus. But, I mean, mm. open the yield tap and see the production and food of Maori against everyone else. Okay, the Toas are approaching and the Umortos mm -hmm. are standing in line, taking... Uh... Yeah, Peter, just open the yield tap and look at the production and food of Maori. Mm, I see, yeah, I see it, 118. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good, good production. Oh, good, good. Almost Hansa-like. Yeah, I mean, it just feels so good on Maori because you don't have to do freaking builders. <laughs> I mean, for, for boats, you, uh, for, for the fishes and stuff. But Yeah, yeah but Kupi, Kupi needs the big guns here. He has to uh, take a step back, mm. get more tours, get the general, get the cross. I mean, he, he has the general uh, this turn. Or next turn, next turn, get actually. The and I think actually just uh, cut, uh, crossbows is enough. To a crossbow. It should be enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Greece moved uh, Pingala and Oracle City. Okay, uh, Gaul has a commercial by now. But far too late, far too late. Imagine uh, Greece, he has city patron. And what does the Sweden have? Uh, Sweden has Divine Spark. Yeah, Divine Spark. Imagine uh, you had Pingala very early first governor with the 100% grant promotion. This is a must have when you see uh, your culture enemy going for Divine Spark for the writers. You have to run this. You have to go Pingala first, 100% promotion, get the early cheap writers. Mm -hmm. Also, Ma didn't do it. Mahabodhi building totally. on, on Sweden. And the trading city of Sweden is established. Nice. Oh man, Vietnam Forest City, Colosseum. It's just Irelosium. Not worth. That's not the way to do Colosseum. Mm. Someone else should have gone for Colosseum, not Vietnam. One that destroyed his good campus or good theater spot here. He chopped the... Oh man, so much, so much snowball potential gone because this is for culture, the district there. He just should have put the fucking government plaza there. Mm. Now this tile is chopped and he won't put a district there this game because I mean he will with medieval fair yeah he needs uh, when when he just, he's going for divine rights 
<laughs> yeah, we have 70 culture Maori. And that's the power of Maori. Just spamming cities, make a monument in every city, and you have crazy culture. Some some districts, pen brush. Yeah. Hello, hello. And when we look at the money income, it's also quite dark on Team Blue. We have a total of 16 positive GBT. Mm. Max says uh, 600 gold, more than 600 gold, 700 gold in the bank. Oh, that I don't like, to be honest. Why in this kind of stage of game, or what do or do they plan to upgrade a lot? But I don't see what. I think they want to upgrade the crossbows for Sumut, for Mali. They want to. But I mean, Maori is building hard building crossbows. He doesn't have uh, I think I think I think they should uh, give some codes to uh, Kupe. Yeah, Cooper or Mali. I mean, uh, Cooper just buy light lighthouses and traders, or Mali buy buy stuff for Mali. Yeah, they just need to buy the good feudalism builders and yeah. chop the units. Just chop the units. But I mean, uh, it doesn't make sense to. S ah, now they they. Oh. Hmm? Vietnam just used four hundred gold. Huh? For what? I don't know. Hmm. But he just used up all gold. Don't tell me he bought a settler in Tang Long. I think he did. I don't see anything else for so much. Oh no! Ciao, digger, digger. How to play as ineffective as possible? Build four city colosseum by 400 gold settler. <laughs> <laughs> in the city where you get a chop it. <laughs> Ah, oh, guys, we have the upper hand. Uh, we can just buy good feudalism builders and chop uh, as many tours and crossbows as we want. Ah, uh, just just buy a settler and uh, settle a useless city that doesn't uh, impact the game. The fuck? Yeah, I mean for this gold, you could have bought traders and lighthouses for Maori and mm. you will get the insta payback. When you have uh, trader, um, trader capacity, yeah. always first priority buy traders. They are so effective. This game. Buy the traders. Uh oh, oh, and there is a. Uh... Quite devastating tornado, maybe in Persian land. It's waiting on the borders to wreak havoc. That's for the balance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's was swooped around. Okay, lol. Um, what happened to Persia? Yeah, Schnudel, Persia lost his first expand settler to Maori, and Maori could even bring it home. So he was just uh, pretty hard hit. Then I don't know. He made second city of fresh water, and the third city kind of. I don't know. He has pretty nice tiles here. I'm not sure why he wanted to do here. I don't know. Preemptively making walls. I don't think he has a nice game. 
But I mean, yeah, I, I can feel that your morale is quite down when you lose your first settler. Is that guy playing Teddy Rough Rider? No, he's playing Bull Moose with no Ziv bonus. Because he spawned in jungle city, jungle, jungle land. Nothing here, nothing here. A little bit of here. But yeah, so far no Ziv bonus gaming here. He tried to push uh, Mali a bit, but yeah, ultimately Mali can hold. And Vietnam, Dita, lost the settler to Gaul, but quite late, it was like the fifth settler or something like this. Uh, it's not Canada, it's... Win on Fusimo. And it's actually a quite nice play. I think he got he got three writers. Pericles oh, got, no. got oh, two. Oh no, look at the flood uh Where? In Persian land. Oh no, now the attack has to happen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> also in Sweden. Nicely sent a very fast settler here for Marori to trade with. Does uh, nice Tors get, uh, do Tors get um, uh, a Malos when they attack from water? Uh, I'm pretty sure, yes. Okay, okay. They're not like Norway. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, sh he should snipe the low. He sees them because he's standing on the plain hills there. Yeah. He, sh he should snipe it uh, last move, first move, like. I mean, he has a lot of movement in the water. Ah, he can do. Mm. He can do. Mm. Yeah, he should snipe it, definitely. This is so impactful. Embarked units. Get percent. I don't know. I just thought he maybe can. I mean, he has the two movement left on his tour in the water, so he can move two to the left. Oh, yeah, the America with no bonus. Yeah. I mean, that's what you go when you go. Um, Lottery. I mean, I guess you could still make it play because as long it's just floodplains here, and I think jungle you can chop and work around. But then I guess you really have to know what you're doing, and you have to to practice yeah. to, to to know but how to use it. If, uh, if um, I mean, if you would see like Lege on this play, I think he would still make it possible. If Clue 2 is watching the stream, um, when you go for uh, the Magnus Internals or something just with commercial opener, you have the traders later for the diplomatic service when you get alliances. And he, I see uh, he can naval trade with uh, Greece um, through New Orleans. So uh, a Rainer play here, New Orleans, um, not so much, but Argos with Rainer. And then they would have made so much gold. Because then uh, America has the traders. Greece gets the traders in the mid game. But I think this would have been the play here. Yeah, also the question, yeah, uh, Exile is German team. So all four players, or all players on the team are German, actually. And the team blue is, yeah, composing of CPL players. I know uh, the Perictus player is a German. I don't really know the other guys where they're from. But I guess uh, we can just call it international. Okay, we have five turns to golden. Oh yeah, it seems like I guess everyone except America is kind of on the track. Mm. 
Yeah. I guess you you just have to adapt to your terrain and but that's what I mean you kind of have to have experience with the Ziff you play. When you play this kind of Ziff, you have to know what to do when yeah. the standard play adaption is not is so not important in these situations. You want to see Rough Rider? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's a decent Ziff, but uh, obviously, yeah, it seems there are more efficient Ziffs in the pool that like Rough Riders barely picked. I don't like, I don't know. I mean, Rough... Even <laughs> even in a duel, Rough Rider yeah. is uh, just a uh, duck in the water because you only have plus, y plus five in defense, can't really yeah. push, uh, yeah, have, you have no sim bonus and I don't know. I mean, the I kind of think the only really good bonus is that the Rough Riders need less iron. They need horses. Well, they need horses, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> like, when everyone is on the on the using uh, cursor uh, timing, uh, you don't. Yeah, yeah, you don't use up iron. That's like the only bonus, kind of, for Rough Rider, and maybe the planes, but I don't know. Uh, whatever. Yeah, but goal spamming some settlers, okay. I mean, you he got also one from from Vietnam, but two, four, six, eight cities, one more walking, and one more producing, and no, two more. Yeah, okay. I think goal is looking kind of nice. Yeah, but he has he has no snowball. Yeah, yeah. I mean the the, the this this encampment. It actually might be that he just misclicked. Instead of Opidium, we have to ask him later. Also, also that they don't have writer control means they have no fascism timing here. They are completely uh, open mm. for attack. Yeah, yeah, Gaul has two commercials, but I mean, I have the yield tab open. You see, like Team Blue is has big, big problem on the on the money intake. Yeah, no synergy. I mean, Gaul had no to synergy. do commercials because just. Imagine gold making no money, then hello. <laughs> I mean, it's quite sad that Persia got erailed so hard that he didn't even do like a single yeah. commercial. On the other hand, when we look at the yields, we have uh, how much? 250 GPT on Team Exiles, and what is it? 25 GPT roundabout on Team Blue. It yep. was pretty much over. Yeah, and Mali got the. Turn 54, uh, so so big difference means uh, GG. Mm -hmm. Just uh, now, uh, now uh, until they realize it. Yep. <clears throat> Persia going for the 19 turn machinery. But I guess this without the boost. But uh. Mali is, uh, is a great Sif, in my opinion. Uh, team uh, Task Force, no, Zone of Control <laughs> um, with, uh, <laughs> with a Noob. Uh, really like to play Mali because when you have a good player on Mali who knows how to defend, Mali is such a good Sif in a team constellation where he just uh, defends makes the gold and carries carries the team. Um, Mali is super great. Yeah. So I think a very strong pick there in the draft phase. Especially Maori and Mali when you have and two big money makers. Schubert, yeah. Who is uh, yeah. Mali main. Yeah. <laughs> Where is my team? Where my team is Duhansa. They played today against KC and won. And Gold, but Gold I I, I I wasn't playing that game, but I played yesterday in the CJJ, eh, CJJC, and we won against Cute. Actually, that was a pretty nice game. Sadly, just uh, cast on French. But if you want to watch that game, it was a pretty crazy game. Like till turn one hundred eighteen, constantly warfare. 
Uh, no, the team with Dieter Döner, this is here. The Exile game, uh, the Exile team. So there's mm. there's four teams from the German server. There's Duhansa, this is the main one. The big boys. Then there's uh, Duhansa but better. Also called Duhansa 2.0. Then we have the Exile team that we are looking here. And then there's also, how are they called? Mayo Wing Gaming, yeah, something like this. Uh, let uh, me have see have we even uh, looked at the city states yet? No. Uh, in a second. Has Amador, uh, Sweden has Ayutthaya, um, Greece has Bologna, uh, Mali has Zanzibar, and uh, Sweden also has Volin for the generals. And uh, Fusimo is Vatican City, so uh, I think they, they won't kill Vatican City there for win. Uh, the, the game yesterday was casted by Softstyle, the French one. Uh, or you can watch the POV of Trinda, he, he also cast it. And... Yeah. And the Duhansa game from today... was casted by Michael. And... What is the other question? How many slots has Germany community? So, uh, we usually had one slot for the German server directly to CVC. But as we in, on the German server didn't really play a content competitive, well, we kind of played a competitive leaf, but like a different style. We didn't have fixed teams. We made um, like every Duhansa player was kind of a team, team, pack, uh, team captain and picked players in the draft system. Uh, so that the teams are balanced. So we had like uh, very good players and then we had um, like newcomers also in the game so everyone can play and all the all the ranks in between. And we then make a voting for the best players and those players were in Duhansa and played for CWC. That was like the two last seasons but uh, yeah, we kind of missed on Duhansa playing like real qualifier games, for example in CPL, just for training. And so this season we asked if we can join CPL qualifiers, but then of course the other team said, yeah, it's kind of unfair when you have a safe spot, but play CPL qualifier and like push maybe other teams out. So we made an agreement, we merge our slot with a CPL slot. So the CPL gets now one more slot. The German community doesn't have a free spot, but the German community is allowed to join with every team in the CPL. That's why we have four teams and the CPL has four slots, plus the one extra slot for the zone of control who won the last WC. Yeah, you're welcome. You rabbit, you see yes. what uh, Kupi is doing. He's just holding back. Uh, keep the sim up, building a canal city, and then you will come with frigates <laughs> and shoot from the stone uh, over the stone tile. Yeah, and snack Sousa. So easy. So but easy. you can't get Pesagarte. I mean, he kind of can if he uh, the the lovely Jack plays, because this he's the only one on admirals. He has to farm his frigate on the right side to level two, then use <laughs> two uh, two plus one XP and get level four, and then mm -hmm. he can shoot Pazargade with frigates. The level four battleship one shot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's okay play on Cooper. I mean, why use too much there? He can just sim up and make a clean kill uh, uh, later with whatever he wants, frigates or curacias or 
or even maybe just uh, trebuchet. Trebuchet knight is also. I mean, with easy. level four battleship, he can uh, build a canal where Susa is and then shoot Tushpa. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we had the error switch. Let's see. Everyone made golden Persia knot and America knot. So Persia double, double normal age. Ooh. Yeah, he's building audience chamber. <laughs> that hit quite far, and that America also didn't get it. Yeah. I mean that now we can see quite hard they on that. They called GG. They called GG. Oh yeah, they GG'd oh. out, okay. Well, Team XR won. I mean, yeah, with America also in normal age, uh, you see he's now on 39, 28 stats. They have no money income. Now when you even lose the money from pen brush. And yeah. Yeah, it's a bit sad, bit sad for Gaul. I think he was playing quite nicely with a lot of settlers. The only weird thing was the encampment first, but I kind of expect it was a misclick instead of Opidium. Maybe we can catch them. Let me see. Peter, let's go post game. Maybe they come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go post game. Yeah, overall. I mean, I think it was a pretty dominant play by Team Exile. Ah, hello. GG. Moin. Moin. <laughs> I mean, I think we just won the draft. Like, it was over after the last opening, Cooper and Mali. Yeah, I think Coop. I, yeah, uh, I mean, we can hear from them. GG. 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 Man, yeah. Uber was so unlucky with the forest fire. I know, yeah. not, not Uber, um, Cyrus. Right, Ah, uh, what happened there? We didn't saw the settler snatch. How did it happen? Explain. Um, he had a scout there. And he shift entered the settler over on a rainforest. And exactly at that moment, uh, next turn, the rainforest started to burn and damage its yep. his scout. Ah, and then you could kill his, his scout with your warrior. Kill his scout with the... Yeah. Oh honest, my to god. Be honest, to be honest, that's like, that's almost like really lobby worthy if you ask me. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like winning the lottery. That's yeah. Like a okay. Job. That is crazy. Ooh. Why did you go holy side America? I'm gonna kill all of you next time in the team. Is it? <laughs> no, it's fine. Next turn. <laughs> next turn. <laughs> Dude, that's so bad. Dude. We got fucked over there pretty bad. Uber, why no naval trade to uh, America? I, I was going to, but the game was over. Like, it was over by then. Yes, you need to realize how demoralizing losing a settler that early is. Yeah, yeah, the first expand settler. Is yeah, yeah, early. yeah. Cause it's cause really cause... bad. And that also... the way it happened. <laughs> you stole my settler as well, so... Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it was your... Same. Was the fifth <laughs> settler or something. Like yeah. Aureus, just... <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. so I mean, AFK. Not to, like, it's already bad because you guys are, like, way better than us. You know what I mean? Like, so... And you're on a map that that's conducive for your playstyle, like mm. it's ad advantageous to us. And then to lose the settler to the fire, and then not only that, like um, Clue needed horses, and we didn't have any horses in our first. Oh, we had them too, actually. And um, it just, and then Braggy settles this ne the next city off fresh. <laughs> it was just like, fuck. yeah, dude. like we can't catch a break here. Mm. I mean, all was gonna be big if if we could do something on the other line. Yeah, he, he got a big number of cities. But who who was yeah. playing goal? Pyro. Pyro. Is he here? 
No, no. I just have one question. Why did he open with encampment? Did he misclick? No, because he... Um, when we found Vietnam, we thought you were going to be a little aggressive. Oh, okay. So, because I told him, like... Like, you know, I just told him about you guys' playstyle, so he was like, okay. So he was more cautious, but then oh, long term, it was a mistake. Mm. Um, I mean, so... I'm Vietnam, I don't need to push. Right. I mean, you guys played well, dude. Like, we just, we made a lot of mistakes, and you played well. Um, next time, though, we're going to kill you guys, don't worry. Mm. I mean, overall, I think the position was kind of good for team blue because Mali was alone right but I think the biggest problem is you can't let Maori open on Highlands yeah That's... Kupe and Mali on Highlands so yeah. STC I didn't think you guys were going to big brain that <laughs> <laughs> we thought, saw we... I wanted to tell my team like oh we yeah, but up. we thought we thought you had a plan with Gaul and Pericles yeah, because we uh, did yeah, but uh, you could have maybe uh, don't went for. Uh... Dude, your second settle on that wonder was so shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, kind it of a bait. a bait. It, it was looks. Such a bait. It looks it nice, but yeah, uh, it's a bait. Yeah. It's you a fucking bait. Yeah, you throw all your tempo out of the window with that settle and not going Pingala with the Grand's promo, getting all the f the, the oh, 30, 30 know, point man. writers giving them Sweden. Oh. I know. I mean, I ended up getting Pingala, but I got him like a little late. I got him a little late. I mean, it's Divine Spark. Yeah, and then you have to go Grant's promotion Pingala because right. you don't want Sweden to, to present all the writers. I didn't. I had. I did he didn't one get all of them. Only. Yeah, he didn't get, get all the writers. All but one, I guess, or what two? No, you got. No, you we got split two. Them. I got two of them. We split. Oh. But uh, Fuzimo, if you had uh, projected so. earlier because you had two amphitheaters, you could have projected earlier, you would have got, had uh, three. Yeah, but I don't need them, I guess. I, yeah. I prefer the tempo on my... Uh, I don't like to, like... I don't think that one or two writers that he doesn't have will change it a lot. I think... Uh, do we, mm. do, no, I do not behind. I think mm. I, I already am an advantage, so I don't need to do that. Yeah. And in the end, you get the 60, 60 point writers because you have to snowball. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't think I should have settled that city, but I did thinking like there was another player there. Um, but it definitely was a bay, like for sure. I, uh, I fucked up. I thought I played okay other than that, though. With Pericles. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, all, I... all three of you went for uh, bronze working. Why? Ah, yeah, that was what we have well, to mention. We were hoping he was kind of like. No, no, just, uh, just yeah, when when you rewatch, you of... have three guys and all were on like one or two uh, turns, so you didn't boost for the, each other. You didn't communicate. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was and then, and then the other guys yeah. could have gone for archery. Get the, the get the archer pre, uh, the archers in position. Like we are, we're a ragtag team, you know what I mean. So like the communication wasn't really. Like, yeah, yeah, that was quite visible. Yeah. So we're trying we're trying to work some kinks out, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's bad when I'm the best player on the team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in trouble. <laughs> Papa Uber. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But yeah. dude, I would, I would, I would play with you uh, in a team every day. Bro. See, because you love me, my great yeah. border control man. <laughs> Wait, there's Giant's Causeway. Yeah, yeah, directly yes. on Pericles. Yeah. yeah, man. I was just gonna like, it was so hard not to just spam units and go to Molly with that. I was like, nah, that's all right, man. I'll just, uh, I'll just sit here and sim like this. Shit, Sim. Romeo and getting lost against Sif Joe. Who's Sif Joe? Who are the players? <laughs> ben Barbetta, Corny, Rage, and Omega. Okay, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Right, <laughs> what? Right, right down here. <laughs> who are, who are they? <laughs> <don't grief>. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Okay, um, yeah, I guess at the end the game was quite one-sided. With this, I mean, we now have the explanation how he got the settler, it was quite unlucky. So apparently he had a scout and a settler went on this tile. Maori had a warrior here and then there was a forest fire that like hit the scout to low life and then the warrior could just kill the scout. That's a pretty big blow also on the morale and I guess that snowballed into the game and losing. But yeah, GG, I, I go off. Maybe we see us next time.